And first though, before we go to that, Greg O'Reilly is service manager for Yap Ireland and he's going to tell us all about a new photographic exhibition which is being launched in Nace later on this evening. Good morning to you, Greg. Shane, how are you doing? How are you doing, sir? Good. Thanks for taking our call this morning. Not, First not at all. of all, you might explain to people who are unfamiliar what exactly Yap Ireland and Yap Kildare is. Okay, I'd, I'd love to. Um, I suppose just to say that Yap is, uh, we are a leading provider of intensive support programmes for young people and families. Uh, we use what's known as a, a strengths-based, family-focused approach for young people with very complex needs. And this leads to very positive outcomes for the young people and their families. And I suppose just to tell you a little bit about the, the idea of strength-based uh, and the family-focused. So what our program tends to do, and it's quite different to a lot of other services, we would tend to concentrate on the strengths of a young person. So we would go in to, in to meet a family and a young person and the first thing we would try and do is establish what, what a young person is interested in and uh, what, what motivates them. And we would try and tap into those, uh, those skills that are inherent in, in all young people. And we would then try and use those skills to develop that young person uh, in a positive manner. And in terms, I suppose, of the family-focused uh, approach that we take is, it's just that. It's, our service is very much concentrated specifically on the needs of an individual family. So I suppose it just gives you a little bit of context of what we do. Absolutely. Where do you uh, get access to the young people? Is it through the school system or is it through community groups? Or how would you find oh. young people? Okay. I tell you, at the moment, at present, we are um, our, our main uh, funder and uh, referral service is the HSE um, social social work uh, service and they would, we have what's known as a gatekeeper system which would uh, ostensibly be a principal social worker who would refer cases to us and cases would be prioritised in terms of, of the specific needs of a young person and we would very much focus on priority cases would be a young person who was at risk of going into the care system or into the uh, into custody uh, or maybe at extreme risk of, of, of self-harming or, or something to that uh, effect and we would prioritise those kind of cases. And that is the key. We even, there's crime figures out this morning and it's amazing the amount of we talked about this last week on the show Senator Tom Sheehan very concerned about people who are out on yeah. bail and who commit crime uh, and really early intervention is what everybody calls Absolutely. for and, and this is the, the early intervention that's needed so you're getting them from an early age to sort of a, a uh, diversion Absolutely, Shane, uh, 100%. I couldn't agree more with that. It really is about prioritising early intervention with young people. By the time young people have been through uh, um, the, the uh, children's services and that they're into the adult services, it, it's, it's almost too late at that stage for them. Uh, and the, the culture of, of crime and recidivism has, has set in at that stage, and really it's about trying to turn young people away from crime, from antisocial behaviour yeah. at a young age. And the work we do is it's very much based within the communities. So we're working with the young people where they're at. So we're and going also, into that. Yeah, also sorry. as well, Greg, just to say, there's a lot of young people out there who aren't interested in sport. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what, what we would do, uh, Shane, is we would go in and it's, it's an individualised service that we provide. So we make no assumptions. We go in, we sit down with the young person and their family, and it is about them telling us what their interests are. And if you sit down with anybody long enough, now I know you could go to a young person and say, what are you interested? And the first thing they may say is, I don't have an interest. Spend 10 or 15 minutes talking to that young person and you'll find a litany of things. I mean, even if it's something interesting in going shopping, if it's an interest in, even something that may seem quite trite, there are things that can actually be built on, and that's what we do. We build on those interests and from there try and develop those and kind of hone new skills. So... Everybody has an interest in something. Okay, a very worthwhile project. Tell us about the, the programme that's been running here in Kildare that's culminating in this photography exhibition then. OK, 
Okay, we, we, we have a very strong programme in Kildare. Uh, we work very closely with the social uh, social work services in Kildare. Um, we are working, last year we worked with 27 young people and families in the area. We had very significant uh, and positive results within the area of Kildare and we kept a lot of young people out of, out of the care system. Uh, we built self-esteem within young people. We've built relationships within families and that had, you know, uh, relationships that may have broke down. Uh, very worthwhile uh, work has been done in the area and we continue to have a very relationship with the social wealth, uh, our social work services there. Yeah. We'd also work, may I just say, we'd work with schools, we'd work with probation services, basically any service that's applicable to a young person and is relevant to their life, we would work. We work in partnership with these services. Yeah, so these are these are young people from the NACE area who've got involved Absolutely. in this. There's a small group of them. There are eight young people, boys and girls, between 12 and 16. They each focus right. on historical sites in the area, so That's it's going right. to be of relevance for local people to see... It's very much so. It's very, very much so. I mean, our services are localised. We're in 19 different counties around the country, but in each area... It's, it's, it's specifically about providing a localised service. So these young people have focused on things that are of relevance to them. And what they have actually done is it, it, it's, it's a kind of a historical uh, picture that they have drawn through photography of things of relevance in the NACE area. And I have to say, the work that they've done is, is absolutely exceptional. And we would really ask and call for people to come out and see this uh, in NACE Library for the next couple of days. Mm. It's been launched tonight by uh, a guest who was on this programme yesterday, Councillor Rena Bracken, who's a member of the Town Council, and she's also chair of the Joint Policing Committee for NACE. Uh, so it's been launched tonight between 7 and 9 in NACE Library, and it runs today, tomorrow and Thursday. That's right, that's right. And right. We, we, I would, we would really ask people to come out, uh, give their support, come and see the work. It is exceptional work that people have done. And just finally, if, Greg, people uh, maybe are interested in the project but they haven't heard about it before and they can think of young people who might benefit from them, are Absolutely. there ways of engaging with yourselves? Yes, I, I tell you, you can, you can go to our website, which is www.yapireland.ie. You'll get a lot of information uh, from the website. Uh, young people, as I say, at the moment, they have to be in some way engaged with the social work services. But if they contact their local social work services, they can find out more about how to, uh, uh, how to get involved in our programme. OK, and just a uh, YAP stands again for... Youth Advocate Programme. Youth Advocate Programme. Great. Well, listen, well done to the eight young people there and their families. I'm sure they'll be very proud tonight when that exhibition is launched. NACE Library at 7 o'clock, and you're welcome to go along for the next three days there. Greg, well done. Keep up the good work. Thanks for that. Ha Thanks a million, Shane. Talk Take to you again now. soon. See you. That's Greg O'Reilly, who's service manager for Kildare with the Youth Advocate Programme. Very worthwhile. And again, the crime figures are shocking. There's so many crimes being committed, including, by the way, last year, 11 murders were committed by people who were out on bail. So we're talking here about trying to get young people before they could ever even be a possible risk of entering the legal system in that sense of the word. So well done to Greg and all involved in that project on bail. So we're talking here about...